Like, what, are, what are you talking about here? That's crazy. Are you are you building it from the Oregon Trail? Do you have like 9,000 oxen that are trying to forge a river and they're getting dysentery? <laughs> what is happening? Why can't you figure love, this out? I love that you brought up Oregon Trail because last night I spent about a good 15 minutes talking to that, uh, Sarah Roadwall about Oregon Trail. Yes. And she's like, I'm not eating tonight. I'm like, why? She's like, I don't want to get dysentery. <laughs> So, so today is, is, is probably a pretty typical uh, vlog day and just a regular typical day for Matt and I. We really like to start the day and have a breakfast and it's really important for Matt and I to get outside of the office, get outside of a typical place we go to and get a little bit of a, a three to five year picture as opposed to one to two month picture. Because I'm really trying to educate myself on what other industries are doing, what makes them successful. And I'm wondering to myself, can we translate that to a service industry like we have? Can we translate that to an insurance agency? How would that look in our eyes at a different scale or in, and on a different level? Because the best ideas are, are already out there. We just need to translate them to GNN and translate them to what we already do best and then execute fast on the ideas that our gut tells us are right. So whatever our gut tells us is a good idea, we want to do yesterday and we want to go as fast as possible. But the ideas that might be two, three, four years down the road, we just want to take small steps towards it and see how it feels. What's up, man? What's up? Uh, I, think, I think in general, whenever you can invest in someone else's success, like invest in their process, business, or sales, like it just works really well. So tell me about last night. Rick had a uh, client appreciation event for all of his referral partners, centers of influence, everyone. He had it on a boat, he rented a boat, we went out to the harbor, sailed around for two hours or so. That's great, man. I'm really glad that worked out. Um, so yesterday I met with Chris Paradiso, who you've met with. Really good insight onto their core values, what they do, and kind of how they operate. Loves what we got going on. Yeah, and I think the last two years it shifted to, you know, as you say, legacy versus currency. The legacy is that we're doing something really fun and cool, and it's like, why would we stop? You yeah. know, if the currency that came in could alter the legacy we have, well, then that's the chance well, we take. Difficult chat yesterday about, you know, loss ratio and, and, and growth. and. It was, it was a very interesting chat. I think we both took it the right way, though. Yeah. I yeah. think, uh, you know, the same exact thing as Paradiso just said. Yeah. You know, it came at, like, the right time for me to hear as well. Like, if we were in the business to sell, if we were in the business to do something and, and show profits, this would be a really important thing to focus on. Yeah. Really important thing to focus on. Yeah. We're not selling. We're not in the business to make ourselves look great on paper right now. We're in the business to crush our niche and solve problems for our referral partners. Yeah. It doesn't grow, line up. Grow as fast as we can yeah. the right way and in doing so transform the way things are done. Are you done, are you done here, sir? So yeah. we got Jay Tooley, Leader Bank, drop off a bobble, have fun with that. Jocelyn at La Macchia Real Estate, drop off her bobble, have fun with that. Looks like we're missing the theme. We broke the, uh, we broke the... <laughs> you, need some, you need some help, Sunshine? <laughs> it's not even planned. Hey, Jay. Hey, what's, hey, what's happening? Good to see you. Good to see you. How are things going though, overall, though? I mean, overall, pretty good. Um, yeah. On the banking side, the banking side is doing great. Explain a little bit more what it means when you say the bank's doing well. We have a, a pretty solid business banking team now, so we, we kind of like change our model a little bit. We have this like uh, very high touch kind of like premium business banking group. Uh, yeah, see. I gotta get a picture of this. But. I didn't even know I was gonna get a bobblehead. So. What? Yeah. Come on. You, we ordered you a bobblehead the day we met you. It just <laughs> took two years to. <laughs> Yeah, I'm almost wearing the same clothes. You must have planned that. Uh, That's yeah. good. You guys don't run on EOS, but you, uh, but are there certain tools and, and parts of it that you leverage? Um, so I'm still, I'm still thinking about the best way to do it, just because like, with our organizational structure, there's like, there's like almost like separate business lines. Mm -hmm. Mortgages, in many ways, have nothing to do yeah. with like retail banking, which mm -hmm. has nothing to do with like commercial lending. Mm -hmm. So it's in one business unit, it's like speed, best price. In the other one, it's like value added services. Um, high touch. Really high touch. Yeah. What do you feel like the biggest stumbling blocks are? 
challenge is like when uh, when you have really good people, you have, you have to keep them motivated and constantly learning all the time, mm-hmm. especially if they're young too. So that in itself is like a, a real big effort. And it's uh, that was a good meeting with Jay. Uh, yeah, I, I just I, I enjoy the calmness of which he approaches everything. Business. Yes, everything. Yeah, that's good. We're shifting from the owner of a bank now to a real estate agent who we love at a real estate company in Waltham. Jocelyn's a good example of someone who you just want to help. You, you know, you want to you want to invest in them because you're just a good, positive person. Well, just constantly investing in, in their process and what they do yeah. in any way that they want to be done. Hey! Hey! Yeah. How are you? No, no interruption. No interruption. Oh, that's up? okay. We're early. How are you? Hey. How are you doing? Good to see you. Always good to see you. So how's things? Good. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I've been busy. To people that don't do listing appointments, what does yeah. your listing appointment consist of? Well, first we're doing tours of home. Um, we're going to go through what I do as a realtor, what I'm gonna to do to sell their home. When you go to a listing appointment, it's relatively sold, or do you find that in a listing appointment, it's like a heavy sale? It's mixed, and you mm-hmm. get that sense when you're on the phone with them. Is there anything that you do pre-appointment to communicate with them? Lamarckia has so much to offer, Yeah. so we wanna highlight that, and usually people tend to throw junk mail away, so this is just something that has their name on it, a handwritten note, just mm-hmm. to get Say hi. What would you say right now is sort of like one of the challenges that you got, you or the industry or you know your counterparts are, are running into? It's that fear of where will we go mm. if our house sells and we and it will sell. Yeah. And now we haven't found a home yet. Yeah. Well, how do you remove fear in general? I call buying a house the wedding dress effect because there's yeah. emotion tied to it. Mm-hmm. Letting go can be challenging and emotional. Um, so I don't think that ever gets removed, but where they can feel better about it is knowing wh- what they can sell for. Uh, she's joining the family? It's a great moment. Oh, man. Oh, my God. She's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's mini Jocelyn. Jacqueline, we have something really important for Anthony. He's probably going to want to come in and put it in a safe deposit box. I, I like both. Stay right there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. See ya. Thank you so much. Always good to see you. Leader Bank's such a strong partner. Jay's running the show over there, so it's always a great, great well, well spent, well time well spent. Time well spent. And Jocelyn, great to catch up with her. It's really hard to get in front of real estate professionals as busy as she yeah. is. And, you know, coming in with a, you know, a value packed, you know, 20 minute meeting, it's awesome. Great yeah. to get here, catch up, great to hear nuggets on how she's doing and how she accomplishes uh, yeah. her real estate goals.